Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, K7SW. Today we're going to do the mag loop. I'm going to show you how to operate this thing. We're going to set it up in a couple of places. We're going to make a few contacts. You are a solid 5.9 into my uh, mag loop antenna. Sitting what I'm going to show you is how to get tuned for frequency. And this will give you an idea of what I'm doing out in the field later in the video. Now, the goal here is to send a carrier through your antenna, whether it's AM or PSK digital mode or something like that, which will allow you to tune this thing while you're, while the radio's on. If you have an antenna tuner in your radio, you need to make sure it's turned off, disabled, because you're not going to be using it. Now for me, I'm hitting the transmit button. I hold it down for a little over a second and that puts the radio into carrier mode and that's going to send a transmit carrier. I'm at 21 to one and I'm not very far off. All right, so I got this down to 1.4 to 1 from 21 to 1. And I think I moved this tuning knob maybe a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Not very far. But now that I've got this tuned in, the highest Q, the highest resonant frequency is dialed in right where I'm at. And so now the lowest amount of power loss is going to happen. And this antenna is going to work the way it should. This antenna specifically is meant for 25 watts max on sideband and 10 watts CW or digital. This is how this antenna works. You get it dialed in for the frequency that you want from listening to it, and then you use low power, transmit into this thing and get it dialed in with the tuning knob. And now your antenna is tuned for your radio. Now that you know how to set up this antenna, I wanna take you out to three different locations that I've been to, to give you an idea of how and where you might use an antenna like this. The interesting thing about the Magloop antenna is people that don't know anything about ham radio were really curious about what you're doing here. So it was a great way to get people, I guess, interested in what it is that you're doing using a Magloop antenna. Park to park, park to park. And now I had a fairly strong park to park, let's try it. K7 Sugar Whiskey, park to park. Kilo 7 Sugar Whiskey, you're 59 into my park. A kilo 5867. Again, that's 5867. Over, over. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey Park 5867. QSL? Yeah, QSL. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate you uh, making the contact. 73 K7SW. Kilowatt 8 Echo Yankee United. Name is Glenn. I'm in Linden, Washington, about 100 miles north of Seattle. You're an honest 5 and 9. Over. Okay, okay, Echo, a Yankee, a United, there in Washington, okay, and you're 59 in the basket, QSL? Uh, QSL. Uh, you're 5'9", uh, you're into Reading, Pennsylvania, the name is Mark, and I'd love to get your name and uh, TCH into the lot. I'm out here with my chair, and I have a small tripod to mount this thing on, and the pieces that went with the antenna. The main requirement for this loop is to get the loop itself, the radiating loop, to be in somewhat of a shape of a circle. And the supplied mast, the telescoping mast that comes here, will allow you to raise the center of this thing up to where the shape of the loop is round. One of the interesting features about this mag loop antenna, having it at chair level so your arm can reach out and grab the tuning knob to get the frequency tuned in, makes it so this antenna does not have to be that far off the ground. Now you normally wouldn't think of operating an antenna per se, Normally you put your antenna up in a tree or on some sort of a mast and you get to your radio, you start tuning around and you operate. On a mag loop, it's a bit different. There is somewhat of a learning curve to getting used to running an antenna like this. Today I'm gonna to be running the 857D on my battery power and into this loop antenna. And we're gonna be running a maximum of 20 watts today. I think the antenna will do 25 watts, but being this close to it, I'm just gonna stick with 20. Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey. Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey, about a 5.6 and 2 park Kilo 6.5904. Hey, thanks for your park today. You are a solid 5.9 into my uh, mag loop antenna sitting out in the desert. Uh, back to you. Okay, copy the 5.9. I appreciate the contact. And 73. 73, K7SW. So here's an interesting thing. You don't always get this. He's at an S1. The noise level is so low with this antenna out here. My radio is showing S1 as the noise floor. If he's putting out 50 or more watts and I'm only getting him as, as an S1 right at my noise floor, there's literally no way I'm going to get him at 20 watts with a small antenna like this. Another thing to note about this antenna, 
the tuning knob here is kind of like dialing in your VFO, but there's no visual representation to where you are. So you're going to dial it in until you audibly hear the static going up or the noise or the contact or whoever's on the air. Now, another part of this is the directionality. This loop here is directional from side to side. And the beauty of what that means is there'll be null. So if you have noise on either side there, it's going to cancel that out, making this a more quiet antenna. I think we're done for now out here in the desert where there's nothing around giving you that example. Now we're going to head over to a park, set up at a bench, maybe get some shade and some accommodations. The radio set up here at a local park and it's an aluminum table, so it could be a problem for us, but we'll see how that works out. I'm going to start off here with 20 meters because it's going to be the most active band. I checked 10 meters and 15 meters and there was nothing. All right, by ear, I think I'm dialed in here, but we need to test with the radio and see how far off we are from frequency. So I'm gonna drop it to five watts before we do this. I hit my transmit key. It's not bad. So I give it just a tiny bit of turn and uh, we are golden. So we definitely know that being outside, away from obstacles, they don't seem to have an effect as far as tuning the antenna up. Anyone else for the moon base? Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey QRP. Okay, there's a QRP station to hang on. I'll pick you up. Who's the November? Yeah, the Mobile that's uh, a 7 station. Come on in. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey QRP. All right, Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey, uh, not mobile, QRP. Kevin, come on in. <laughs> you were like 20 over here into my park that I'm at in uh, into Utah. And I'm just testing out a little mag, mag loop antenna on 10 watts. And uh, you're absolutely killing it. Back to you. Roger on the 10 watts. Well, you're doing good too. You're uh, you're an S7, sometimes an S8 or so, uh, so it's working, okay? All right, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me check in today. You have a great day. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey, uh, well, working out of the local park, I think he said, out of Spanish Fork theory. All right, so now we know what it was like working at the picnic table, the aluminum picnic table at that. We want to see if it's any different, if we have any better results, less noise. Maybe we get out better by being out here away from everything. So I'm in my chair. I've got my tripod where I can rotate this thing. 10 meters seems like it's opening up. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey. Rio de Janeiro was a real long shot, but it was worth trying. So there are some other guys here. They sound like they might be out of California. Well, allegedly, these bikes will do 7,000 RPMs in first gear. Sierra Whiskey? I heard something. Sierra Whiskey, come back. Hey, thanks for letting me break in. Uh, Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey uh, in Utah, over. Buddy, you're right at the noise. I, I keep hearing the call sign, but that's all I get. Yeah, QRP, QRP, uh, QRP uh, in Utah, Utah, over, over. All right, QRP in Utah. Uh, actually, <laughs> when I switch to the wire, I hear you better. I don't know which way will work better for you hearing me. Go ahead. Yeah, you sound good both ways to me. Um, I'm just running 10 watts on a little mag loop in a park, and uh, you guys are coming in really great. It's it's fantastic to hear 10 meters open, and I was just hoping to get a signal report, and then you did it. So thank you so much. Are you serious? Akron, Ohio? Holy cow. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing tuned in just a little better. Okay, that might be better. That might get me a little more power. I'm not exactly sure. I'm hoping that uh, tuning this antenna up, uh, talking a little bit here to get the SWR just a little bit lower. Akron, Ohio, that is amazing. I just, I figured you guys would be in California. Over. Uh, yeah, it did come up too, by the way. Um, uh, so it's working fine. Yep, Akron, Ohio, we're just uh, 30 minutes south of uh, Cleveland, Lake Erie. See what I'm gonna do. Uh, I got a 5.7 on this antenna. I'm on T, switch to the other antenna, hit a quick tune button and come back to you. Stand by. I don't know if this one will work better or worse or what it'll do. Does it make any difference? Hello? All right, very good. So the other antenna was louder. It was about a 5.7 on my meter and your audio was nice and loud. This antenna is a little bit quieter, but you're still reading a 5.6, 5.6 to me. Uh, what's the difference between your two antennas? Over. Uh, one is a, uh, an IMAX, uh, Optimax Vertical, I think they call it, basically a CV antenna that works on 10. 
Uh, and then the other one is an inset half-wave uh, dipole, uh, and the radio is an ICOM 7300 uh, running mail, 100 watts, you know, give or take. Oh wow, you're doing a fantastic job here. Well, let's see, I'm running a KX2 antenna with 10 watts on a, uh, a chameleon mag loop antenna. Uh, with, I think it's only 102 inches long and it's two feet off the ground. No, you're, you're doing a fine job. Uh, QRP rig out of Utah, I'd be uh, more than happy with it. The call sign here is the Limber 8 Uniform Kilo Mike. Uh, and the handle is Chris, Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra. Go ahead. Hey, Chris, yeah, I just cannot believe 10 meters is open like this to you and you haven't faded away or dropped out at all. The name here is Kevin, Kilo Echo Victor, India November, and uh, the call sign is K7 Sierra Whiskey. Chris, I certainly appreciate you uh, letting me break in and, uh, and you helping me out with a signal report today. Back to you. Sure, no problem. Well, there's a bunch of us that hang out on this frequency. You're always welcome. Uh, Kevin, uh, there's no problem with that at all. This was an awful lot of fun. You really made my afternoon. 10 meters, who would have thought? It's been years. So, uh, all right, 7-3, Chris. Thanks again from K7 Sierra Whiskey. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up a magnetic loop. It's nothing more complicated than that. Make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching 73. We'll catch you on the next one.